in the game today, and he'll give you the best fifty. That's yes, tonight right? against Michael Brett. Uh, there's no limit to what this one. He's on his toes here, and you can see already uh, the brothers of the Lewis Jim up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And you see the common ladies, but now uh, rising before guys like Hollifield. You can see Hollifield going to work right now at his left. And it looks like already Brothers is in trouble backed up against the ropes. And Hollifield really firing at work and attacking the challenge field. Tries uh, to up his record 12 and 0 as a pro. As I mentioned before, the big money's on the horizon for this guy. We mentioned the Tillman of Vander Hollifield. We have about a Burt Cooper Hollifield. Uh, you know, uh, Hollyfield jumps up to heavyweights. Who knows what's going to happen up there? And he's just working and throwing a lot of money. Michael Brothers. Well, he's had Hollyfield has been throwing a little left, a little right, some great overhand rights like right that one. And uh, he's looking. And now we go for Brothers. In the, in the class of '84 to get his title. He's going to work now against Michael Brothers, who went down on the canvas right at the end of round one. And Hollyfield coming out and setting the pace. Now already we're seeing that the work has really paid off. And there's a right that's going to come across with that powerful right. And you see brothers just kind of flailing away. All they can do is defend himself, and there's the combinations on it now, and uh, uh, this one could be could be all over here in a couple more rounds, so the way it's going so far. Some boxers I know have watched should take a few lessons from heavy leather. Brothers taking some good shots here. Round two, but already Michael Brothers in trouble. And there you see, there you see Evander Holyfield having uh, pretty much his own way, and he's uh, so solid with his punches, you and he, uh, He's got them all wrapped up, and there you can see right now. It looks like Brothers is very scattered. And just it, I guess you'd say it is. There's just no doubt. Evander just really and right across the face, and again, his Brothers is backed up to the turnbuckle, and now Evander Hullet, too, as uh, time winds down with just about 35 seconds to go. The hands are down, so look for the uh, right to the combination go. work of Evander Holyfield that's really doing the damage tonight, and there you see it once again. Didn't score that time, but he has been so far with more action from Paris in just a minute. He's got a run in tonight with Evander Holyfield, and Holyfield looking very strong in those first two rounds. That's Holyfield on the right and Brothers on the left. Well, Lou Duva said he feels Evander pounding right now. Well, about to be taken out of the round the way uh, Holyfield looks, and he's uh, measuring him up right now, and, and we'll see what happens here. First two rounds clearly going to Evander Holyfield, the junior heavyweight champ. Back up the ropes again goes Michael Brothers, and to the body, goes that left, that strong left of Vander Holyfield, really uh, measuring up. I think it's just a matter of time right now here because it's, uh, Brothers is holding up, but he's uh, certainly wearing out. Well, the last thing you want to do right now is get back in the, against the ropes. He's fighting stupidly right now because it's exactly where Holyfield wants, to, wants him to be, he's right against ropes. Right don't write the script too early, but uh, Anthony Davis, to son, uh, he's being blooded, he's having a lot of problems. And back up against the ropes, and there we see just the replay of what's been happening, and it looks like trying to plan out his next course of action, but see much but I think it's just really a matter of time as Harper goes to work, and there it is, he's got him backed up against, firing away, flaring away at Brothers, who's just covering up, and the left to the air, the right to the air, on the whiskers, and there, there it goes.